Somebody's changed the boyle's password, a bunch of bastards. Today, we are going to reinstall all of these computers with a new base image. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to MDT and Winners Deployment Services them with a task sequence I've already made up before. Uh, you would have seen us imaging a classroom in the past. This is another IT suite. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to speed it up again as before. And let's get cracking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, what is mine? Oh. <laughs> Backdraft. Oh. <laughs> oh. Get your backdraft oh. up, buddy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I get asked a lot, do you BIOS password the computers out? If you can see from there, that's BIOS locked out. Stops the students or staff from re imaging a computer. Plus, you've got your AD authentication as well. So, even if you did get past the BIOS, fix your boot or something, how are you going to log on to the MDT server without any valid administrator credentials? So over this side of the room, we've got other three machines. We've got the teacher computer, two more where Paul is there in the corner, and there are roughly 20 machines in here. Going around the room. We're recording at 2.7K on the GoPro today, just to see how it comes out on here at 30 frames rather than 60. So apologies if there's any frame tears or screen tearing on the footage. This is how we're going. We're gonna log them all in now with administrator credentials and then get them cracking. We'll choose the task sequence and they'll run. So, let's get cracking. Okay, so all of the 24 student computers are now imaging with a custom image that we have designed to work with these computers. Also the staff computer is imaging as well, which is cool. Uh, once these are imaged now, it takes 30 minutes or so to do a room, 35, 40 minutes, something like that. Once these are done, we'll then go ahead and install any custom software for this department for design. So design applications specific to this room. And after that, we'll test a few accounts and it'll be done. So check back in a minute while it's imaging everything. Alright guys, as you can see there, computers are imaging. The progress bar for them. So only around 10 minutes, 15 minutes in total to do these machines. Hopefully the camera will pick this up okay at 30 frames. It may be a little bit difficult to make out, but we're running at a higher quality, 2.7K. So that's the room imaging. Check back shortly. ready guys we are now ready to log them in for the first time and configure them reboot them activate windows activate office as you can see there ready to rock and roll so it turns out i need glasses uh, i went for an eye test about two weeks ago and had to get glasses so this is the new shape billing experience look <laughs> oh, the best ever these are six cream eggs Oh yeah, like that, just six cream eggs. Right here, but actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I had a cream egg out of this one. Cream eggs, they're chalky and they're good. Maybe in America. 
inside they've got like a creamy sweet thing so as you can see I'll bring the camera in close to show you once the computer's finished imaging they give you this sort of prompt here just to say it was a success there are no warnings we're then using Pyro to control these machines tell them to sort of activate windows by running slui.exe so to do that you can come up to your computer just type in slui like that hit enter on that it should bring up the windows activation it's successful okay just using Pyro to shut these machines down and give them a restart okay so as you can see the machines are in the background there you should be able to see most of them doing their thing i'm on uh, the teacher's computer here and from here I'm going to use Impero to tell them to do different things. So I'm going to tell them to go to the start menu and type in SLUI to check Windows activation. So send that script now. When I click send, the start button pops up. Hopefully you'll be able to see from there. Start button pops up. slui has been written into the search box. I can then go ahead and hit enter or return. It will then launch that and you'll see in the background all the machines have SLUI um, activation box popped up. Next thing I want to do is start again. Go to uh, Word. And same thing again, so send the script. Start menu pops up. Word is found and searched for. Let's hit enter, return on that. Send the script, okay. We'll now see Word 2010. Open up on all the computers. Fantastic. <laughs> There's always one that doesn't play ball, but yep, there we go. All right guys, so the next thing I'd like to do to them is to kind of change the screen's resolution. At the minute, they're set to sort of like 800 by 600 these have a native resolution of sort of 768 something like that they're not particularly high so sort of 1300 and something by something they're not um, just about 720p basically so we're going to go start on this we're going to go to um, screen resolution so type in screen screen resolution hit send script search box will pop up you won't be able to see from there it's that far away but it's bringing up a search box we've got screen resolution in there Hit enter on that. Then brings up the screen resolution box. What I'll do is I'll bring you close so you can see. So I've pressed tab a few times to select the resolution box there. Sending enter now will drop down the resolution box. And if I go ahead and press up about 400 times, <laughs> like that, you should then go ahead and hit the top uh, resolution. Climbing up slowly, as you can see there. All the machines do the same thing, they're all copying, and uh, we'll set the highest resolution the best fit for these monitors. So, we'll get enter on that. Okay, I'm going to go tab across a few times now, so one, two, three, four, should be about five of these, so let's try that. Oh, we need uh, two, three more times. Okay, another three times. One, two, three, five to make sure. So, two more times. Should have the two blue ones. And uh, done the last blue one now. That's the blue one, yeah. Okay, so one more tab. Hit enter on that. We should be able to hear the key button. Yep. Then enter. All the screens will flash now. And I'm going to go ahead and press the left arrow key and enter to submit and save that. There we go. As you can see then guys, all the resolutions can change to the highest with monitors. Ooh, else. Cream egg. I've named them from 1 to 24. Missing out the two that are damaged. All right, guys, so we've finished installing all the custom software for the design team here. As you can see, all of the software is operating correctly. It looks fan dabby dozy. Every single machine has all the software installed. Impero tends to disconnect and reconnect itself because it's weird. Let's go around the room here, as you can see. We've got a monkey. This is old software, but it's just an example of some of the software that is used. And that's an entire room done. 
So I want to take this opportunity then to say thanks for watching and keep subscribing, keep liking and keep sharing these videos and there'll be more to come in the future. There's a lot of changes coming up with us in our department and there's a lot of new things to be seen and learnt. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. See ya! Oh! Oh, excuse me.